Hello and good morning from the Springfield Museum of Art where Molly, Kearney, and I, Megan Fights, are live getting ready to walk you through our 2022 Accessible Expressions Ohio exhibition. We are so excited to be here today with you all. Very excited. Molly, I'm going to let you kick it off. Sure, sure. So we're starting here today in front of our beautiful logo. Accessible Expressions Ohio 2022 here at the Springfield Museum of Art. Um, I do have to say the Springfield Museum of Art, this is our second year Sorry. Here <laughs> at this museum. They have sort of, they've hung in with us there from the very beginning, from 2020, when we first wanted to open our exhibition, um, but COVID-19 made that not a possibility. So now this is our second year exhibiting here. They have been wonderful, um, and we are just so thankful and happy to be in this space. We're gonna do a quick walk through, show some of the artworks that we have in the exhibition. Um, later on today, we're actually gonna do our award ceremony with our artists who have won awards um, and acknowledge everyone for the wonderful work that they have done. So first, out here in the hallway, um, we have some larger pieces. We have uh, Peaceful Plains by Luke Cooper and the Silver Elegance by MJ Cooper. Um, they are related, which is very <laughs> sweet. Um, these are both larger pieces. Uh, MJ's has a gorgeous, ornate silver frame, and it's a very like thick, juicy, beautiful palette knife piece. And Luke's is an almost pointless uh, landscape with some trees. Um, it's very, very beautiful. Right. As we move through this space, we have our best in show. This piece is small but mighty. Um, it is by Joe Elliman, and Megan, get up close on that one. I'll do my best as a bit of a reflection. Yeah, when I was doing image descriptions for this one, my goodness, was it difficult to sort of <laughs> describe the beautiful, like, organized chaos that is happening <laughs> with this wonderful little piece. Um, and we'll be doing really detailed image descriptions later on in our one o'clock presentation, so you're welcome to tune in again. Yeah, we just want to give you a little, mm -hmm. a little taste of what we have today. There's Shipping Containers by Jesse Steele. And as we move into the main gallery, we have two special guests. We have Liz from the Springfield Museum of Art, and we have one of our board members, Sarah. So if you two would like to introduce yourself, Liz. Sure, yeah, I'm our Collections and Exhibitions Manager here at the Springfield Museum of Art. Um, we are so excited to have the exhibition here again this year. Um, it was a blast seeing all of the artwork last year. It's a really cool building. Thank you. And Sarah, would you like to introduce yourself? Yes, I'm Sarah Bolton. I'm on the board of directors for Art Impossible Ohio. I'm also an artist. I'm really excited to be in the presence of an exhibit um, displaying work from, made by people with disabilities. I think it's really amazing. Um, Sarah has been such a connected and such a like asset to our board of directors. Um, are almost to a point now where I think you know everyone in Ohio who's related <laughs> to the artist in some way. She is always emailing Megan and I with great ideas for her programming. And then in addition to that, she is a incredibly talented jeweler and she is represented in our exhibitions this year. She which is. is very exciting and her piece is Save the Bees. There's a close up of Sarah's piece. And right next to it, I might as well show you this beautiful infinity scarf. It's brightly colored and black colors by Sabrina Fiesel. And then go ahead and hit on Ron Shelton's jacket. This year was the first year that we included wearable art as a category for our artists um, at Sarah's suggestion. Um, and because Megan and I are both huge fans of craft related art and any kind of um, or that takes any kind of form, we were all about it, we loved the idea, and so we have several pieces this year that uh, fall in that category of wearable or usable art. Um, and then we've got a piece by Gary Clark. We can go this way. Sort of our large anchor piece. And just a huge amount of variety. One of the things that's unique about accessible expressions is that we feature artists of all ages so not only do we have work by adult professional artists, but we also feature work by 
some of our younger artists here in Ohio who have disabilities. Right. And we're also representing some of our favorite studio partners too, like Open Door and Visionaries and Voices. Fun corner over here. I'm gonna get close to this one because it's kind of tricky to see. Sorry about any reflections. And I also want to remind everyone that if you visit our website, most of these artworks are for sale. So if you see a piece that you just have to have in your home, we invite you to visit artpossibleohio.org. And there you can find a Here we are. We're back. Sorry about that, folks. A little internet issue. I was just shamelessly plugging the fact that you can purchase any of these artworks at our Square store. And we encourage you to do so. The majority of the purchase does go to, directly to the artists, and the rest goes back into supporting this exhibition. Some wonderful handcrafted pieces this year, some woodworking, which is really fun. Sorry, Molly, I'm just going to. And then, Mayim, will you talk for just a second about what happens after the exhibition comes down from Springfield? Absolutely. So um, this wonderful exhibition is up through mid-May here at Springfield Museum of Art. But following the opening exhibition, we section the, uh, the exhibition up into smaller exhibits, and we travel the show around the state into the smaller entities. So um, this year, the exhibition is going all over Ohio, we are traveling the Maslin. We have several shows in the Cleveland area, Chagrin Falls, West Lake, Lakewood. We're also gonna be in Canal Winchester, Columbus, and up in, where's Huron? Oh, for Huron County, what's the one over there? Where you go to pick up? Oh, Artists Open Studio. Yeah, Artists Open Studio. Um, and. It's just really wonderful opportunity for artists who live in other parts of the state and can't make it to the opening um, to go see their works, but also for people to go see the works all over the state. So we will be announcing all of those exhibits in our newsletter and on social media so you guys can stay on top of them. And you're more than welcome to go see the works in those spaces. And then also beginning next week, we're going to begin posting one artwork a day on our social media pages, on Instagram and Facebook at Art Possible Ohio. So you will also be able to see the show online and the show will go on for about 48 days until we complete the exhibition. And I think that's about, we've gotten to it, the end. It is, I'm gonna give you kind of a long view of the gallery. We already have some wonderful, wonderful guests here and there's Sarah again. And I don't have the steadiest hand, but I appreciate you walking through with us today. Please come see it in person. The Springfield Museum of Art also has several other exhibitions that are up throughout the time that we're here. Um, come support this wonderful, wonderful museum and the Springfield area. You can make an entire day of it. And we would just be thrilled if you could post, hashtag us when you come see it. Um, let us know that you've been here. Let us know what you think. We are just so thrilled and excited. Awesome. All right. Well, tune in at 1 p.m. today for award ceremony. And thank you for joining us. Thanks, everyone. Bye.